Hello and welcome back to Lord Fent Gaming Plays Wasteland Remastered. I'm your host Lord Fent. In today's Wasteland Remastered video right here, what we're going to do is go to Village Darwin on a short detour to get some better equipment, number one. Number two, we're going to decide a fate of Fair and Bride go. Also at the same time, get ourselves a nice Proton Axe. And finally, we're going to go inside the Las Vegas Temple and get to the uh, sewers. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Wasteland content like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell be updated my videos and more. Now in the last video right here, we started exploring Vegas. And we met one of the crime bosses. And of course we had some fun while we did it. And we got our new uh, ally. This time, first thing we're going to do is hit the village of Darwin. Why is that? Well, I'm going to give everybody uh, Kevlar uh, suits. Because that's uh, 6 AC right there, which is very important. Yeah, I want to upgrade everybody ASAP, so this way the sewers will be easier in the next video. So let's go over here, but first let's take care of the folks that's uh, harassing us. Now we're uh, done with that. Next up, we have to get in the black market. It does require a password. It is C R E T I A N Cretan. Once you do that, you can get in. Now, this is why it's important. There's a whole bunch of good things they sell. Chainsaws are obviously number one. Sabot rockets, manglers, TNT, plastic explosives. That's one page. Law rockets, your basic AR weapons, range weapons. The clips for them. Yeah, that's very uh, good. Kevlar suits. Rad suits are very important. Yeah, you want to give everybody uh, Kevlar suits at this point. It's very important for them to uh, stock up on it. Otherwise, yeah, the sewers will be uh, tougher. That's why I'm doing this. So I'm going to skip ahead and finish shopping. There, I'm done shopping. Now, you have to keep on typing word Cretan right here because, yeah, the game is uh, tend to be uh, like that. So now we're uh, done with our little side detour. Go back where you came from. Do not go south because the radiation will hurt you. Yeah, radiation poison sucks. So now what we're going to do is go back into uh, Vegas. The very first thing we're going to do is actually get our proton axe. Oh, yeah. There's uh, one proton axe in Las Vegas I discovered. It's one of the most powerful melee weapons in the game. Seriously, it is that powerful. Okay, that's taken care of. Time to go back in Las Vegas and get our first Proton Axe of the uh, game. Oh yes, that's the Las Vegas welcoming committee in this game right here. But still, this is like really uh, fun here. Yeah, I'm just uh, reloading my weapons here. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, I have plenty of weapons. Yeah, a lot in this uh, video here. So next stop is, uh, of course, take care. Besides this tank here, we're going to get our uh, proton axe. Yeah. Good news is it's near Farron Brigo, the next objective. Still, I'm just clearing this out right here. Yeah, I'm taking care of business right here because, yeah, these tanks are easy to uh, mark once. As soon as we go inside, it'll be a series of uh, combat.
Now, really uh, quick here, we're clearing out a whole bunch of enemies here. Yeah, we are. And one of them will eventually have that uh, proton axe. Oh, yeah, you're going to see that in a few uh, moments. But for now, let's go ahead and clear the rest of this uh, building out. And I'll uh, return after uh, everything is uh, done and uh, over with. Okay, we're finished with this right here. We got the Proton Axe. We're so out of here. Next up is Farron Brigo. He is very close by. This is the uh, great news. Now, the uh, password I'm going to tell everybody is uh, K-E-S-T-R-E-L. Type that in once you are done with that. Then I'll give everybody a second uh, phrase right here to say. Really easy to do. I mean, come on. It's really easy. Once you say this phrase right here, it says, What can you do for Farron Brigo to advance the story? And the key word for uh, talking to Farron Brigo is Crumb sent me. Yeah, those are the words right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that. And then say, uh, what can we uh, do for Farron Brigo? Of course, get the cutscene uh, going. Farron Brigo's office is modest, yet clean and pleasant. Two guards, one tall, blonde, and stern-looking. The other shorter and stockier, flank the desk. Brigo, a dark, handsome man, smiles at you. I understand you want to speak with me, gentlemen. Once the introductions have been made, the big boss pulls out a box of cigars and passes them around, explaining that it is his special blend grown somewhere further north. When everyone is comfortable and the bodyguards have taken up unobtrusive positions behind you, he begins to talk. You must be the rangers sent to help. What do you mean? You cautiously ask. One of my men is missing. We don't think he's dead, because he's too valuable to kill. We think some other group in town has grabbed him. If we don't get him back, the whole town will probably be overrun by these damn death machines that have started to appear, because he's the only one in town with the scientific know-how to fight them. He's the one who thought of the landmines, and they've destroyed more robots than anything else in town. Brigo reaches into his desk and brings out a drawing of a rather ordinary-looking man. This is Max, he explains. He came to us about a year ago from the wasteland to the east. 
He was the greatest hand-to-hand -hand fighter we'd ever seen, and he also seemed to know a lot about the science from before the war. He didn't remember where he came from, at least that's what he told us. I quickly made him my right-hand man. When we began to hear rumors of death machines coming out of the West, and especially when the first of them reached the Vegas border several weeks ago, Max grew frantic. He began to talk crazy about how all life was in peril and how only he could save us. He said he needed special equipment and that someone near Vegas should have it. I should have put a guard on him then, but instead I decided to send Ace out to look for help. One night, Max disappeared. We've been looking for him ever since without success. Now I've lost my best man, and things are getting worse. Newer and stronger robotic death machines are appearing all the time. If we don't find Max soon, even a fortress like this may not be able to hold out against the death machines. Go see Charmaine in the Mushroom Church. Tell her I sent you, and she may be able to help. You nod your head. Yeah, we've tangled with some of these death machines before, and we gotta stop whoever's making them. Any clues? There are two other power groups here in Vegas that we know of. Fat Freddy runs the criminal element. He'd like to take over my position. There's also the servants of the Mushroom Cloud, religious fanatics who won't be happy until every person in Vegas has been converted to their own poisonous religion. There may be others. Vegas is a big town. But those are the ones we suspect most. I need you to go find Max. What do you say? Will you do it? The Desert Rangers huddle for a few minutes. You decide that taking on this mission could be quite an adventure, and decide to go for it. Besides, your curiosity's been aroused. You're sure that Max knows a lot more than he has told Brigo. If you want explanations, he's the man you'll need to see. All right, you tell the boss. We'll find him if he's findable. In the meantime, you try to hold out here. The big boss stands up, shakes your hands, and wishes you all luck. Then he shows you the way out. Now, you had a choice of killing Farron Brigo. If you uh, did kill him, then you turn in the uh, ring to Fat Freddy. I decided not to do it because I want him to advance the story of uh, finding Max right here. Yeah, those are the suits. That's what it's all about. Now, we're going to the Temple of the Servants of the Mushroom Cloud. People worship uh, nuclear stuff. Now, we're inside the temple. The first uh, phrase is Farron Brigo. Obviously, that's number uh, one here. And then after this is uh, number uh, two phrase is blood staff. Yeah. We'll have to go ahead and retrieve that. But for now, I'm going to show everybody the uh, doctor here. Yeah. If you want to use the doctor at this point, if you have high uh, doctor and or uh, medic skills, yeah, you're not going to use it. And plus, if you've been using my uh, trick on uh, resting on very hot spots with everybody having canteens, yeah, nobody who harass you. Yeah. yeah. I'll show everybody other resting methods too. I did discover a course of this uh, game here. Now next up, this is library right here. I like this library too because it's uh, really good. There's some good things you can get from it. 
I'm doing right now is leveling up all my characters' energy weapons to two, and, and of course, AT weapons to two, which is important because eventually we're going to use that later on in the game. So I'm going to do this really quick. I'll return after. There you uh, go right there. I got my characters right. Now, normally this room right here usually has good stuff if you didn't visit Darwin. However, due to the fact I have a chainsaw, of course, uh, Kevlar suits, and some other uh, goodies here, I decided to not do that. Yeah, I was trying to lockpick. That didn't work. I also tried my uh, companions to use their items. Yeah, didn't work. I will have to eventually figure out a way to actually obey them more. Even I have about, I think, uh, some good... Uh, Charisma. Hey, yeah, one rad suit and some robes. Yeah, if you want to go for those. Yeah, the rad suits are all right. So we're going to do another set of lock picking. And there's some good, uh, what we call AR uh, bullets here. You definitely want to get those because, yeah, the sewers, you're going to go through a lot of AR uh, bullets. Yeah, yeah, I'm serious. You will go through a lot of them. So once you are done basically looting this area up, yeah, go ahead and uh, go, go advance on. And do not forget the uh, get the NATO AR weapon because those are like really powerful because the three options on it are very neat. Single, burst, and a full clip. Yeah, see, I'm already getting some good things right here. So we're going to use some uh, explosives to get through these doors right here. Once we are uh, done with this, uh, Charmaine, we're going to speak with. Yeah, she's going to send us on another uh, task. Yeah, we're going to be doing a bit of running around this video right here. And it's going to be really quick, dude. So we're going to blow open this door right here and speak with Charmaine. Farron must have sent you to look for Max. Last I knew he was headed for the sewers. He built a special key to get down there. It's called a sonic key. Don't confuse it with the four keys of the Citadel. Max made a couple of them and told me that he was hiding one somewhere in the old golf course. Didn't tell me where, though. Didn't do him any good, either. The new men grabbed him before he could do anything. If you return to me the blood staff from the Mushroom Church in Needles, I can show you the way. Tell the bishop, Dipstick. Okay, we have to go back and get the blood staff from the uh, priest in Needles right here. She gave us a password, which is uh, Dipstick. And make sure you uh, loot more of uh, these uh, AR uh, bullets here. Because, yeah, like I said before, you're going to need them for the Las Vegas sewers. And let me tell you right now, those sewers are tough. And I would advise start looting up jugs. Quite a few of them. At least hold on to three. Because I uh, found out eventually that they are really useful for one part of the uh, game here. I'm not going to spoil that until we get to that point. So for now, I am going to do is, is uh, besides failing at lock picking. And so I'll go back to uh, Needles. Yeah, this is going to be like one of those runarounds here, folks. So I'm going to show everybody how to do it real quick. So from Las Vegas, you go to Needles right here. Enter this from this direction. Go in this temple right here. Once you are done, the servant in the Mushroom Crowd Temple in, uh, we call it Needles. Say the magic word, Dipstick. Yeah, say the magic word. And there you uh, have it. We have ourselves the Blood Staff again, the original. Make sure you do not mix it up with the fake ones because if you give her the fake ones, she'll be highly upset. Instead, give her the real one and what happens is she'll open the way to the sewers for you without bloodshed. The other method is uh, go ahead and clear out the entire uh, temple. And foes in the temple can uh, cause radiation poison, which I am not going to have fun with. So this is more of a peaceful solution. So what we're going to do right now is once we get to this point right here, use the staff in the spot where we're at and then we're going to trigger a nice uh, cut scene and get the way open for us so let's go ahead and uh, do it Charmaine takes the blood staff from you and her face lights up you clear your throat <clears throat> we've done our part you say now do yours we need to find this character Max before all of Vegas is overrun by these killer robots Ah, yes, Max, she croons, that strange flunky for Farron Brigo. You probably don't know that he's a robot. The news hits you hard. Things keep going from bad to worse, you mutter. Outlaws, blood cultists, killer robots, bomb worshippers, and now cyborg robot nappers? What next? She inserts the blood staff into a secret compartment and turns it. You hear a low groan as if some new doors were opening up. The way is now clear for you, says Charmaine. 
If you survive your encounter with the new men, look me up in a couple of months. I might have another mission for you. You can only grumble and take your leave. Now we have access to the Las Vegas sewers right here, which is uh, really uh, good here. This is uh, great news here. So you want to do is blow up the door, lock pick it, do whatever you want to do. Yeah, make sure you have a companion that does not disobey you and just blow things up. Yeah, we're going to do it now. And boom. So now we have access to the Las Vegas sewers. So let me give everybody a lowdown on today's video right here. We visit Darwin Village for the black market to get some nice upgrades for the sewers. Then we got ourselves a Proton Axe in Las Vegas. Spared uh, Farron Brigo's life, which is very important, so we can find Max in the next video. And we visit the Temple of the Servant of the Mushroom Cloud and did tasks for Charlemagne. Now our next video right here, we're doing the entire Las Vegas sewers. This is it for my Wasteland uh, Part 9 video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night.